So insects are actually really versatile, so it's up to your imagination how you can use them. Um, it helps bring promotion to your restaurant as well because there's a lot of people that are interested in eating bugs, but in Australia at the moment, there's not really that many places you can go to try them. So if you do have them on the menu, you'll be getting people coming back to try them again. All the bugs are actually really high in protein. So the crickets themselves are 68.5% protein, which is really high. Um, if you think about a steak's between 20 and 28% protein. Um, they're really high in calcium, they're high in iron as well, omega-3s, B12 vitamins, um, magnesium, and they're actually really environmentally friendly to produce as well. So if your restaurant is going along the environmental route, um, you, they, they're fed vegetable scraps, they have really low environmental impact, they use only a tiny bit of water and don't produce very much carbon dioxide, so they're a good alternative to meat. So here we have a different um, range of bugs that we have. Uh, these are the small size mealworms. These ones are good for any kind of sweet dishes or if you've got a scroll, they taste really good inside a scroll. These are the extra large mealworms. Um, they're actually a different species of mealworm. They have a different flavor altogether. Um, they're more robust in flavor, so they work well um, in curries or as a topper on a salad, um, more savory dishes. Uh, these are the crickets. These are probably our best seller and um, we sell them a lot to Mexican restaurants obviously um, and Asian restaurants as well. They're kind of like tofu so they absorb the flavors that are around them which makes them really really versatile and you can actually grind them up like this into a powder um, and you can use them in bakery items um, which is fantastic and it's kind of an introduction for people that haven't tried bugs before so they're actually getting the nutritional benefits of eating the bugs without actually having to look at the bugs. Um, and these are my favorite ones. These are the ants and the ants have a really really strong citrusy flavor, but not like a citrus that you've had before. So we use them more as a seasoning. So we have a lot of chefs that use them um, in sweet dishes or as a topper on top of a salad or on top of um, like a steak tartare or something like that, just to give them that extra flavor. There's a lot of chefs all around Australia and all around the world that are using edible insects at the moment. Um, Kylie Kwong would be one of them, Matt Stone. Um, we've also got uh, the chefs at Public in Brisbane. They go through a lot of insects um, and we've got places uh, in Denmark like Noma um, so Rene Redzepi he uses insects in his menu but he actually forages them from the woods around him which gives it you know that extra dimension as well. Ants is something that really um, catched our taste buds we really liked it I think the whole citrus biting into it and the explosion in our um, expl explosion in our mouths so we really liked that so what we did was and because it's high in protein we turned this into an actual gluten-free cake, low in fat yogurt and mango mousse, and then orange segments, baby coriander, and also the ants. So this is actually a low fat, high in protein dessert. And that's why we've done it. We've created it for breakfast and also for lunch. The ants pop in your mouth, actually, but just the texture of it. So there's actually ants in the sponge. So we've just folded it through. So originally this was actually with poppy seeds, we removed the poppy seeds and we replaced it with ants. I have a lot of people wanting to come in to try it, a lot of people. So we're definitely going to put it on for our dessert degustations, maybe to put it on as a special thing, like you know, for a whole week you can actually come in and purchase it. I think it's really good for people to come in and actually try it. It's just definitely interesting. We really had lots of fun with it. Brought to you by Cookers, the future of cooking oils.